Jaden from the blog The Sweetest Stitch and today I'm going to show you how to thread a sewing machine. So if you're a first time sewer, if you're a beginner, you may be stuck at just putting the thread in the sewing machine, threading it and winding your bobbin. It's really easy once you get the hang of it, but it does take some practice. So I'm going to show you today how to do it and then I just want to encourage you to just practice, practice, practice. So in case you're wondering, my machine is a Singer Patchwork. I can link to it in the description box below. But most sewing machines are pretty similar with how you thread them. And a lot of them will have a guide somewhere on the machine that shows you what to do and where to put the thread. Once you have the general idea of how to thread your machine, you could pretty much thread any sewing machine. So don't be worried if your machine looks a little different than mine. They're all a little different, but just follow the guide and you'll be just fine. We're going to start with our spool of thread on the little handle up here up at the top. That's where mine is. Just put, to put your spool of thread on, you really just stick it through. And then you have a cap that goes back on as well. And push that down. And at this point, you should already have your bobbin wound and in your machine. If you don't know what your bobbin is, how to wind it, or how to put it in your machine, I have a separate video and tutorial on that. I will link that in the description box below. So before you want to thread your sewing machine, be sure that you have your bobbin wound and it's in the machine with a little tail hanging off. Again, refer to my other video that I'll link on winding a bobbin and putting it in your sewing machine. So first, you're going to want to turn your wheel on the side of your machine towards you, always towards you, and that's gonna make the needle go down and then back up. And when it's at its highest point, when the needle is at its highest point, you should be able to see this hook right here come up and get to its highest point. Now you're going to take your thread and follow the guide. So it should go back behind and hook behind this metal piece right here. Down through this guide, this little gap in the machine. And then up, back up right here. And at this point you're going to pull it around on the right hand side of this little metal hook to the back and then down, and your thread should hook inside of this little metal hook so that it's secure. If it doesn't get stuck inside that hook, you'll want to start over and try it again. Pull your thread down. And now by your needle, there should be at the top of your needle, a little circular piece that you're going to want to get your thread inside of. This little small circle is what you're trying to get your thread inside of. So you're going to take both hands, one a little higher than the other, and you're going to pull the thread back behind here and keep pushing until you see that your thread is going through this little circle. Now we're ready to thread the eye of the needle, which just means to stick the end of our piece of thread through the small hole that's at the bottom pokey end of the needle. My machine, the thread goes from front to back. You have to look at your user manual on your machine to make sure which direction your thread is supposed to go because it could go side to side. This takes some practice, but you just push it through with one hand and pull it with the other. Now you're almost done. The thread is through your machine, through all of the steps, and it's threaded through the eye of the needle. Now we just need to connect this bottom piece of thread with the top thread. So how we are going to do that is we're gonna take the top thread that we just threaded through the eye of the needle, and we're going to pull it off to the left-hand side and hold it kind of tight, not super tight, but just hold it snug. And while we'll, while we're holding this with the left our left hand, we're going to take our right hand and turn our wheel so that the needle goes down again. Remember, always turn your wheel towards you. The needle will go down and it's going to catch that bobbin thread. So keep turning it and 
until the needle comes all the way back up. And then you can kind of tug on your top thread that you've been holding. And it's going to pull a loop up of the bobbin thread. So that's the bobbin thread and it's pulled it up in a loop. Now I like to take my scissors or anything else that's kind of flat that you can use to do this part where you're just going to take your scissors and pull them through so that it pulls both pieces of thread towards the back. So now your bobbin thread and your top thread are connected and they're pulled to the back of your machine. You can also make sure that both pieces of thread are on the bottom side of your presser foot. There's a gap in the presser foot for you to pull it to the back if it didn't happen to go on the bottom of the presser foot already. So now they're pulled to the back. You can trim them off a little bit. If they're super long, you want them to be a few inches long, but not super long. And now you're ready to sew. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and if there's any other videos you'd like to see, if there's a question you have about your machine or getting your machine ready to sew or just any questions that you have as a beginner. If you are new to sewing, then this is the right place for you. I also have a written blog where all of my tutorials will be in written form with photos if that's easier for you to look at, easier for you to learn. I want to help you learn how to sew because sewing can be so much fun. I get out new videos every week on sewing basics for beginners, so learning how to sew as well as really simple and easy sewing projects that anybody can do. So be sure to follow along, be sure to like this video if it was helpful, and subscribe if you'd like to continue following along and you'd like to see more videos on how to sew and easy sewing projects. Thank you so much. See you later.